So today, Tesla released their 2024 impact report. It shows how Tesla is helping the planet, so let's check it out. Our mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and everything we do is in support of our mission. And now we are further accelerating our mission through autonomy, enhancing our products with artificial intelligence, such as with our autonomous vehicles and robots, increasing their utilization, which makes them more efficient and safer to use while increasing access and further reducing emissions. Pollution emitted during the burning of fossil fuels leads to 8 million premature deaths globally each year. That accounts for 1 in 5 premature deaths worldwide. And also each year, about 1.19 million people die in traffic accidents globally, with traffic injuries being the leading cause of death for children and young adults between the ages of 5 and 29. We believe autonomy will save lives, time, and money while improving quality of life for everyone. And Optimus, our autonomous humanoid robot, will give people back more time to do impactful work and enjoy their lives by automating time-consuming, unsafe, and repetitive tasks at work and in the home. And in 2024, our customers avoided releasing nearly 32 million metric tons of CO2 into the Earth's atmosphere by using our products, a 60% increase compared to 2023. And Tesla strives to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions. And they say our goal to reach net zero emissions includes our product supply chain, manufacturing use, and end of life. Today, our avoided emissions are the most important metric for Tesla to measure. But our goal is to achieve net zero emissions across our product life cycles over time. We aim to make our operational electricity load 100% renewable before reaching our net zero emissions target. We also match our supercharger network's electricity use with renewable electricity, reducing ours and our customers' greenhouse gas emissions for four years in a row. Tesla's supercharger network has been 100% powered by renewables for now four years, and the entirety of the Berlin Gigafactory has also been powered by 100% renewable electricity for two years, basically since it was built. And Tesla says we can't achieve our mission on our own. We need your help. So we are entering the Our Products section. Our mission starts with making our products as affordable, safe, and fun as possible. We are not just trying to build sustainable products. We are committed to building the best products, period. And for Tesla vehicles, 35 metric tons of CO2 are avoided by each Tesla on the road after 17 years. So you can see by this chart, the longer you own a Tesla, the more emissions you avoid. And you can see in this note down here that charging an EV is also becoming more sustainable over time as electricity generation becomes cleaner. By comparison, the carbon impact of ICE vehicles remains the same every year of use. And Tesla's semi-truck that is coming out is critical to their mission. Semi-trucks make up just 1.1% of the United States vehicle fleet, but they make up 16.4% of the US vehicle emissions. And Tesla makes buying and owning a car as easy as possible. We just saw the first autonomous delivery of a Model Y in Austin. That delivery produced no emissions. The electric car drove itself to the customer without a big semi truck putting it on the back. And Tesla's products get better over time. They've now deployed over 250 over the air software updates, and 99% of their recalls reported in 2021 were resolved through over-the-air updates. And the average uptime of supercharger sites globally was 99.95% which is very reliable. And Tesla vehicles are exceeding safety standards across four continents. They get five stars in all six of these safety tests. And there's a stigma that electric vehicles catch on fire, but Tesla sets a high standard for fire safety. For vehicle fires per billion miles driven, Tesla is at 6.5, where the United States average is 55. So vehicle fires are eight times less likely for Tesla vehicles than the US average, but the mainstream media will not tell you that. Autopilot technology is also 10 times safer than a human driver. And they plan to replicate and accelerate that level of safety with the launch of unsupervised autonomy. And here are the numbers with autopilot technology engaged. An accident happens every 6.77 million miles, whereas the US average is 0.7 million miles. And Tesla's robotaxi network will further accelerate their mission. Today, Model Y emits less than a third of the greenhouse gas emissions per mile of a comparable ICE vehicle driven in the US. But with a more efficient drivetrain and fewer emissions resulting from the supply chain and manufacturing process, our Cybercab robotaxis are expected to emit about half the emissions of a Model 3 and Model Y and nearly 85% less emissions per mile than the average ICE vehicle. And of course, Tesla is just completing their lithium ion phosphate battery cell manufacturing facility in the United States 
I think the CyberCab will have lithium ion phosphate batteries inside of it, which don't have any cobalt at all. And you can see on the emissions per mile up here in this chart, CyberCab is almost twice as efficient as the 3 and Y. And Tesla's making clean, safe, and affordable transport available to everyone. The cost of electricity to power the Model Y is up to three times less than the cost of gas for a comparable ICE vehicle. And you can see the total cost of ownership is less than a Toyota RAV4 and on par with a Honda CRV, which is pretty crazy considering the premium features that come in a Model Y that don't come in those vehicles. And autonomy is going to give you back your time to do what you love. And people spend nearly two hours a day on chores, but the impact of autonomy will be experienced on the road as well as in the home and factory. Because when utilizing autonomous transport, customers will be able to use their time commuting to enjoy the ride, instead of having to focus on the drive. And Optimus will bring the same level of convenience into the home, giving families and workers time to focus on more fulfilling or impactful activities. And Tesla offers a full ecosystem of energy products, including hardware, software, and services across generation and storage. Their energy products provide backup power when the grid goes down, helping prevent outages while reducing emissions. And Tesla also has virtual power plants that let you actually make money when you own one of those power walls that you could see on the side of that guy's home. And they utilize the energy stored in thousands of these power wall units in people's homes throughout a community to produce a network of on-demand energy that helps to avoid blackouts, all while compensating owners. And Tesla's Megapack provides grid stability. As electricity demand grows, which it definitely is, Megapack helps to increase utilization of existing generation and transmission capacity, aligning periods of excess power generation with periods of peak electricity consumption, in a seamless and coordinated manner resulting in a more efficient use of the electric grid. And when you pair it with solar generation, Megapack is cheaper per megawatt hour than many fossil fuel alternatives. When considering the total cost of ownership, the long-term economics are more favorable thanks to lower maintenance costs, no fuel expenses, and longer lifespan. And if you don't follow Tesla, Tesla's demand for these Megapacks continues to grow. And here's their grid stability in action. In 2024, Tesla's virtual power plants delivered 2.8 gigawatt hours of energy to the grid, supplied by over 100,000 enrolled Powerwall units globally. That is the equivalent of powering 742 Model Y vehicles for one year. And Puerto Rico's energy infrastructure faces regular weather-related grid disturbances. And in 2024, Tesla's Puerto Rico virtual power plants supported 7,000 Powerwall-enabled homes, contributing 444 megawatt hours of energy to the grid and offsetting peak demand during summer heat waves. And in 2024, we saw Megapack help out Australia's national electricity market responding during contingency events in the fourth quarter of 2024, providing them grid stability. And Megapacks on Oahu supported the retirement of Hawaii's last coal plant. Our people and production. By the time our products reach our customers, we have worked with our suppliers and employees to ensure they were built as sustainably and safely as possible minimizing resource use, waste, and emissions while maximizing safety. And we build efficient factories. We design our factories to limit waste, water usage, and energy consumption. With each new Gigafactory, we aim to find new ways to manufacture our products more sustainably. They got 50% natural gas savings year over year by melting and redirecting scrap metal back to castings at Gigafactory Texas. And I always see that scrap metal pile on Joe Tegmeyer's drone footage. And 100% of waste diverted from disposal at Shanghai in 2024. And one gigawatt of wind and solar energy secured across North America and Europe since 2023. And as of 2024, Tesla's created over 125,000 clean energy related jobs globally. In 2024, they received 4.65 million applications. And 76% of their leadership positions are promoted internally. And Tesla aspires to create a workplace where their employees can thrive. Tesla actively engages with their employees to identify safety risks. And as they've seen that employee engagement increase, they've also seen their work-related injuries come down over the same period. They got the most safety improvement suggestions from employees ever in 2024 with 731,000. And in so doing, they were able to get their global work-related injury rate down to the lowest point ever. Tesla's supply chain. Achieving our mission through our sourcing. Tesla has positive impact on the world, not only through the sustainability of our products, but also by making our supply chain more sustainable. Tesla is one of the largest electric vehicle and energy storage system material buyers in the world. 
and we use our purchasing power to avoid, prevent, or mitigate any adverse impacts from our supply chain so that our sourcing supports a sustainable future. We work directly with our suppliers to reduce the environmental and social impacts of our material sourcing, particularly in the most critical and impactful areas of our supply chain. For the most greenhouse gas emission intensive areas in our supply chain, we work directly with suppliers to develop on-site emission reduction plans. These plans include advancing decarbonization efforts, increasing renewable energy usage, and implementing more efficient processes. 77% of our battery material suppliers set a net zero or carbon neutral goal, and we were the first EV manufacturer to launch a program to reduce the environmental impacts of nickel production in Indonesia. And a sustainable energy economy requires less mining and raw material extraction. If the world follows Tesla's example and transitions to a fully electrified and sustainable economy, we could avoid extracting 18 gigatons of fossil fuels every year. Once our economy has fully transitioned, we would only require 3 gigatons of battery material mining per year to replace mining for fossil fuels, reducing mining needs by 15 gigatons a year on net. Unlike fossil fuels extracted from the earth, battery materials can be recycled. This over time will reduce the need for additional raw material mining as we transition to a circular economy. And Tesla respects human rights throughout their supply chain. In 2024, we invested more human and legal resources than ever to combat forced and child labor throughout our supply chain. Closing the loop with end of life recycling. Tesla is dedicated to establishing a circular value chain for our clean energy products. While ICE vehicles rely on single use fossil fuels for power, recovered battery inputs like nickel, cobalt, copper, and lithium can be reused to build new products. We work with industry partners to recycle battery scraps from our manufacturing lines and products once they reach the end of their life. In 2024, we process enough battery material through our recovery and recycling process to manufacture the equivalent of around 21,000 Model Y rear wheel drive vehicles. As of today, these materials are diverted from landfills but are not always destined for the battery supply chain and may be downcycled into other industry applications when they do not meet the quality standards required for direct use. As recycling and refining capabilities continue to mature, consistent improvements in high purity chemical refining are expected to minimize downcycling, enhancing the sustainability of the battery life cycle. Batteries and the materials they are composed of are inherently recyclable, which allows for the recovery of valuable resources and the future reintegration of them into the production of new batteries. We are developing our own recycling capabilities to maximize the recovery of critical minerals from our battery packs, ultimately reducing the need to mine new materials over time. That's awesome. On some 2024 milestones, 5.3 gigawatt hours of battery materials were sent to our recycling partners which is enough for 64,000 Model Y vehicles. 1.7 gigawatt hours of battery materials were processed at our battery processing facility, which is equivalent to around 21,000 Model Y vehicles. So our future is sustainable. We are building an autonomous world powered by solar energy, run on batteries and transported by electric vehicles. It's really, really exciting. I hope you guys aren't too bogged down today by Elon declaring that he's going to start a new political party. It was getting me a little bit down and just kind of exhausted. So I was just happy to read this and remember why Tesla is so exciting and where it's headed. And um, yeah, hopefully, you know, all goes well with all of that. We know Elon. We know what, you know, we know it's important to him. I don't want to get into it all right now, but it was just really nice to like read this, see how much of an impact that Tesla is making. I didn't realize how much recycling that they were already doing, but considering some Teslas were sold already 12 years ago, I'm sure we are starting to get lots of vehicles coming off the road looking to be recycled. And it was also really cool to see how much of an impact autonomy is going to have on the world trending towards sustainability. So just remember Tesla can't do it alone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow.